Let us turn now to a new Rawson reports this morning with so much concern about head injuries in football. We got an inside look at how the game could be getting safer today. National investigative correspondent Jeff Rawson here with some interesting news. Jeff. Hey guys. Good morning to you. As you know concussions a major worry for NFL players and also kids who are playing the game and their parents. Researchers have been trying to figure out a better way a better way to test helmets to prevent those concussions and now they say they have finally figured it out this morning you're about to see that new test in action across the country kids back on the football field on the sidelines anxious parents according to safe kids over 160,000 kids and teens went to the er with a sports related concussion in just one year that's one concussion every three minutes. Football, the leading cause. For decades, this is the way they tested helmets to make sure they're safe. But starting now, a brand new test, and experts say it's a game changer. We're at this special helmet lab where they are testing helmets from both the NFL and also youth helmets, the kind of helmets your kids wear on the football field at school to make sure they'll meet the new standard. This is Steve from the lab, and this is the lab manager, Sarah. Let's hit that first test. This is the test, and this is going to come up right now and then drop down, that has been used for all of these years by itself. Explain what's happening here. Right, so this is the linear your drop test and what it essentially does is evaluates helmets to make sure that they're going to protect the head from skull fracture upon impact. But you're saying that this is not sufficient enough anymore. It just it's testing not sort of a neck turning. It's just a hit like this. Right. So this has been used for decades, but it's a little bit one dimensional. All right. This is going to come down right now. So we're going to watch it. There it is. That's a big hit. Yeah. Take a look in slow motion. The head barely moving. Doctors say it doesn't simulate a real football hit with a neck twist. If you take a blow to the side of the head, especially far forward or far backward, you're going to spin the head on the neck like that. It's the type of injuries that lead to concussions. Okay, so this is the new test. What's happening here? So this is the pneumatic ram test platform. What's different about this test is it incorporates a neck mm -hmm. and it allows the head to move in some ways that are a little bit more realistic to the way it would on a field. And you have this set right now to the youth level. So the force and impact you're about to see, this is the kind of hit that your child would take on the field. So this is set to youth. Let's hit the test. Three, two, one. That's frightening when you see it that way. Just look at the new test in slow motion. The neck allowing the head to twist and move in all directions. Now look at the test side by side. That's the old one on the left and the new one on the right. The whole point of this is to help cut down on concussions for both NFL players and kids. Right. The belief is that helmets that reduce the rotational force that the head and the brain experience upon impact are going to help reduce concussions. Yeah, it's scary when you see it like that. This new safety standard goes into effect next November, so all new football helmets will have to pass that test to make it to the field. And it's important to know the old test will still happen as well. This new standard is on top of that, so they're really doubling up here. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah nice Jeff. to see that. Nice guys. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Let's Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.